Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying mixed numbers. Uh, itong topic natin is part of our series with regards to operations and fractions. Last time, we have uploaded a video with regards to multiplying fractions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here two more two examples para uh, hindi sobrang ganong kahaba yung video natin. I have two sets of mixed numbers. We have number 1, 2 and 1, two and one third times 5 and 2 over 5. By the way, for those students who doesn't know what is a mixed number, it is a combination of whole number and a fraction. So that's why we have 2 as your whole number and 1 third as your fraction. So how do we deal with this kind of problem? Or in other words, how do we multiply mixed numbers? First, you need to convert the mixed numbers or mixed fractions into an improper fraction. So you can have my example here. So how do we convert 2 and 1 third? We need to do, what, what we need to do is to multiply your denominator to the whole number, again multiply, and then the product of your denominator and whole number must be added to the numerator. So what we will do is to add here in our numerator. So it will go like this. 2 times, uh, sorry, 3 times 2, that will give you 6 plus 1, that is 7. And that this will be your numerator. And for your denominator, all you need to do is to copy the original denominator of the mixed number. So the converted improper fraction of 2, 2 and 1 third is equal to 7 over 3. So again, 2 times 3, that is 6, plus 1, that will give you 7, and copy your denominator. So that will give you 7 over 5 times, copy your operation, same process to convert the second mixed number, 5 times 5, that will give you 25, plus 2, that is 27. And then copy your denominator, which is 5. Okay, as you can see guys, may na yung number natin. We have 7 over 3, 27 over 5. When you multiply 7 and 27, uh, it will give you a bigger number. So medyo mahirap siya. Pero kaya naman siya kung manually, di ba? Ang process natin is to multiply 7 times 27 and then 3 times 5. But what we will do here is we need to observe the given numbers in your numerator and denominator. Kung kaya natin simplify or palitin pa yung mga numbers as long as tama yung ginagawa natin, gawin natin yan para hindi tayo may rapas sa pagmamultiply. So na-observe ko dito, 7 over 3 and 27 over 5, we can eliminate or we can simplify 3 and 27. Alam naman natin na 3 and 27, their greatest common factor is 3. That's why we need to divide this by 3. In ang 3 meron tayo sa 3, we have 1. Meron tayong 1, 3 sa loob na 3. And as for 27, meron tayong 9. Again, 9 na 3. So as you can see, ang mga numbers na lang natin, 7, 9, 1, and 5. So mas madali siyang i-multiply. So i-write ko lang ha, para hindi kayo malito ha. You have 7 over 1 times 9 over 5. Kung mapansin nyo, mas madali itong i-multiply compared sa 7 times 27. So multiply natin. 7 times 9, that will give you 63. Okay? That is 63. Over 5 times 1, that will give you 5. And, syempre, this one is an improper fraction. Ang natin ngayon is to convert your improper fraction to a mixed number. Kasi yun ang required sa mga uh, answers at kahit mga teachers nyo. So, paano ba mag-convert, sir? Sir, paano ko ba mag-convert ng mixed number, ay na improper fraction to a mixed number. Ang gagawin mo lang naman dito guys is to divide 63 by 5. Okay? So 63 divided by 5, ah, uh, 6 divided by 5 muna, that is 1. 
1 times 5, that is 1 times 5, that is 5. And I subtract it. 1. Then you still have 13. Bring down 3. And 13 divided by 5, that will give you 2. And then 2 times 5, that is 10. So subtract these numbers. Then uh, 13 minus 10, that will give you 3. So meron ko yung remainder. Sir, paano ngayon yan? Ano ngayon yung nangyayari dito? Kukuntinyo ko ba natin? Sapa tayo dyan. So, ang equivalent mixed number ng 6, 3 over 5 is simply 12. Kunin mo yung quotient as your whole number. Tapos, para naman sa numerator, kopyahin mo yung remainder. So, 12 and 3. Tapos yung, eto naman, yung divisor natin, which is 5. Copy pa rin natin yung original denominator. So, equivalent mixed number ni 12, I mean 6, 3 over 5 is 12 and 3 over 5. This will be the final answer for item number 1. Okay? I hope na nakuha niyo yung process natin for multiplying mixed numbers. So, let's continue with example number 2. For example number 2, convert into an improper fraction. 2 times 2, that is 4, plus 1, that will give you 5 over, copy your denominator, 2. So that will give you 5 over 2. And for the second mixed number, convert ulit natin, 5 times 1, that is 5 plus 1, okay, plus 1, di ba? So 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1, that will give you 6 over 5. Tama po ba? Check natin ba magkamali tayo dito. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1. That is 5. Okay. And then copy your denominator 2. Tapos 2, uh, 5 times 1. That is 5. Plus 1. That is 6. So meron tayo ngayon 6 over 5. So what we will do here, kung mapansin nyo, you can cancel out 5 kasi parese lang ano 5. So meron tayong 1 and 1. Tapos naman, sa 6 naman, meron silang pares ng greatest common factor na 2. Cancel. 1. And then this one is 3. So meron naman tayong 1 over 1 times 3 over 1. So 3 times 1, that is 3. Tama? Over 1 times 1 is 1. And ang mangyari dito, ito na lang ay magiging 3. This is the answer for item number 2. Ganun na siya kasipi guys. Sana natutulan niyo yung tutorial natin on how to multiply mixed numbers. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!